takes the bow tie. What is up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to animate icons in Figma with just one click. So for the first step of this tutorial, you're going to want to go and look for SVG Motion. This is a plugin we're going to add to Figma. I'll actually link it down in the description below just to make it easier for you. I will note it is not a completely free plugin, although for the tutorial's sake and to animate simple icons, it is free, which is quite nice. Um, so without further ado, we'll hop into Figma and we're going to run the plugin SVG Motion here. And as you'll notice, I have my little icon pack here. So if you don't have icons already created, you can go online and there are thousands, if not millions of free icons to download in Figma community and just scour across the internet everywhere. Now, because I'm actually a graphic designer as a background, that is against my core being. I created all of my own icons here. And if you like this video and subscribe, there is a chance that I will give away all these icons for free. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Anyway, once you have your icons added, the first step is to run that plugin and select your icon. Now, one thing to note, you're gonna wanna make sure that your icon is either grouped or in a frame or both. And when you select that icon, you'll notice that SVG Motion has it starting right away. Now, because we're working in the free version, we don't have these other options here, such as loader, loader shift, and loader shift delay. But in all honesty, the direct or the default version of the icon animator is actually quite nice. The one thing we can play with here is the speed of the animation, which is quite important. Now, you can be using these icon animators for loading screens or just to add a little bit of flair to your app, um, but you do wanna make sure that it's not jarring to the eye and that the animation isn't like max speed because that just hurts your eyes a little bit. So I found that somewhere, depending on the icon, somewhere in the middle usually looks pretty damn good. Um, the next important thing to note here is that when you select your icon, the only things that are gonna be animated are the strokes. So if you have objects that are a fill in your icon, those are not gonna animate. That doesn't always look bad. In fact, in this example here, this message icon, I actually quite like that the message uh, content stays static while the bubbles around it are the portion that are animated. But again, that's kind of up to you. Now, I also do want to quickly show you the difference in having a portionally static versus fully moving icon. So the top one, like I mentioned, the bubbles are fills, and so those portions aren't gonna move. But when we click on the bottom portion here, we can see that the bigger portion or the, the messages inside the bubbles are gonna move. And also you'll kind of see here that it is a little bit jarring when you're using strokes that are too wide. So you want to keep that width to about like five to six minimum. Now that we've done 1D icons or single color icons, we can move on to some color icons, which I also think look really nice here. Now, these are also some icons I threw together uh, for a brand recently. I'm gonna run through some of these examples and how they look. Now, the next and final step is how to export these animated icons so that you can use them in both web, apps, or as a video, which is also a really nice feature of SVG Motion. Luckily with SVG Motion, everything is super simple, so including exporting them is also gonna be very straightforward. All you're gonna do is export animate, and if you're looking at the SVG animate option, this first option here, that is what you're gonna use for exporting it for either web or mobile. Um, you can also create a GIF or, GIF or a video, which is also quite nice if you wanna add those as if you want to add those to your website or your app. But in all honesty, most of the time, if you're, if you're working in web or mobile, you're going to be using SVG. Um, but without further ado, I will export this one as a video. And when you go to export as a video, another nice feature is you can pick the background color. Most of the time, you're going to be wanting to using white and click render. Once you click render, you're gonna pick where you wanna have it exported. For the sake of this video, I'll just do it to my desktop. Anyways guys, that is how to animate icons in Figma in just one click. I hope you guys liked this video. If it was helpful, be sure to leave a like. Also leave a comment down below on what video or tutorial you would like to see next. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button. Peace.